So, I would like to spend time, just a moment before we begin Act One, talking about characters and how they interact with plot. In this particular opera, we meet Michaela before we meet even Carmen. Now remember that supporting characters like Escamillo and Michaela are meant to compare and contrast with our major characters. So we are to compare this 16-year-old, bright, sunny, uh, blonde-headed gal from the country with her uh, blue apron with Carmen, dark, mature, powerful. She is as naive as Carmen is experienced. On the other hand, we have, we will meet in Act Two, the greatest um, bullfighter of his day, Escamillo, to contrast with Jose. He has all the bravura and bravery and, and uh, silliness of a public figure. It was the Michael Jordan of his day against the dark and deeply serious uh, Jose. So, you will notice that these supporting characters, as is true in many works of art, never meet. And this tension that they create is discrete to the triangle which, which their presence creates and the tension therein. Okay, just a reminder about the nature of character, supporting character, Michaela Escobillo, and the main central characters, Jose and Carmen. So if we can move to Act One, I'll briefly summarize it for you, some of the high points of it. This is exposition, and the primary characters you get to know, absolutely important, is Carmen. She is so important that she gets two arias in the first act, the Habanera and the Segadilla. Remember, both of these are based on Cuban dances. They're highly rhythmic, and it's not unusual for Carmen to actually dance them as she sings them. Uh, the music is highly rhythmic, and uh, if you find yourself tapping your feet and singing along, you are a human being. Okay, so these are the envelope musical envelopes of the act. Although we meet Michaela first, and between these arias, what comes? This lovely duet between Michaela and Jose about Jose's homeland. We also meet another very interesting character, Jose's mother. She's one of the most influential characters to never come on the stage. In the first act, a lot of the action stems from Jose's mother sending Micaela to him with a letter, some money, and some food, saying, the bearer of this message, marry her, because she loves you. And of course, Jose says, okay, mom, sure thing. Um, and they do have this lovely, lovely duet. I urge you to spend time with it. It is uh, melodically just gorgeous. Now, you will already have noticed that, that themes are repeated in Act One, and I need to spend a little time with you about what introduces Act One. But first, the end of Act One, it must be very clear, Jose has been made a fool of. He has fallen for Carmen. Strangely, quickly, even he doesn't understand it. And she escapes and he goes to jail in her stead for a month. So we end the act that way. But we begin it with a prelude. And the prelude is in three parts. It has three motifs. And the motifs will appear in their primary form throughout the entire opera. So, the three motifs are Carmen's Fate, the theme that is called Carmen's Fate. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
You will hear this numerous times throughout the opera, sung much better than I just did. But you'll hear it in the violin, you'll hear it in the French horn, you'll hear it in the oboe, very often in the oboe and bassoon. You'll hear it right below, right before Jose's great aria in Act Two. The second one is the March of the Toreros. You know it. You'll, when it hits you, you will shout, yes, indeed. And the third is Escamillo's aria. You know it. So these melodies are very familiar to you, and they will strike you when you hear them. You will not forget them. And they come up throughout the opera. And when they come up each time, they signal danger, excitement, uh, a public event. And ultimately, they will become part of this wonderful pantheon of uh, musical motifs that this genius Bizet uses to describe character and action and the way he graces this plot with all sorts of wonderful variations. Thanks. What was that?